happen is that moments will line up with the magnetic field, so you increase the magnetic order, and therefore the spectral weight will increase at the Fermi energy, and therefore the resistivity will drop, and that is precisely what the negative magnetic resistance in this system is all about. And then I have shown you from XF's measurements that there is a very strong temperature dependent one divide disorder, which seems to be tracking the transport property, and which we believe is very important in order to understand the electronic structure and transport, elect, uh, magnetic and transport properties in these systems. With that, I have completed one hour. I uh, told you I'll be discussing three systems, but I have discussed two. Uh, since I'm still around for a couple of days, anybody interested, we can always discuss that together. But let me thank you for your patience, uh, the suffering over the last one hour, and thank you once again very much. So, so do you have any questions or comments? So, so this, we have another one hour to discuss. <laughs> I reserve this room to 3.30, but it's not necessary yes. to go. So please feel free to ask any questions. MMO distance. We have not looked at that. This difficult experiments because you have to have the right window. We wanted to look at lanthanum oxygen and other uh, strontium oxygen would be very difficult, but lanthanum oxygen. But you don't have the right kind of low levels to take. So manganese oxygen is the easiest one. Those experiments were done in Peru. Yes, sir. I'm interested in the storage pipeline. Uh, in, the, in the usual homogeneous model, I mean the infinite dimensional models, the energy difference between the incoherent part in the occupied part and not occupied part corresponds to the uh, on site Coulomb energy U. But in new models, the energy difference is around 8 or 10 EV. Let's go back to that. But of course, you could uh, say that Monsat Kuro energy is such plus. So what response to it? Yeah. No, it, let's, uh, let me explain to you first. Uh, in this case, which is the first one that us look at, there's the incoherent peak. The peak is about 1.3 electron volts below, okay? Or 1.4 electron volts below. And it's about 3.2 electron volts above. So the measure of U is 3.2 plus 1.3, which is about 5.5, isn't it? Yeah, 5.5 electron volts. And I think that U value was taken in that order. I think we took it in the order of 5. 4.6 electron volt, 3.7 d. Maybe in the paper we have given it a number. 4.6 electron volt. Can I just give it a number? Yeah, it was taken as 4.6 electron volt. That is the ah uh, yes. Okay. The 4. Point, and it is turning out to be about 5.5 so electron volt, which is not surprising. Macroscopic models, you uh, add, you choose the parameters of <coughs> around 5, U is around 5. Electron. They have the same parameter. They have exactly the same parameter. Parameter has not been changed around. And uh, the U value was taken 4.6 electron volt because that is the estimate in Fujimori's paper and spectroscopic estimate. Uh, not to fit the data. The bandwidth, which is another, or T, was taken from a band structure calculation and fitting the band structure calculation. T turns out to be 1.25 electron volts. Ea and Eb, the two other energetics, the random variable, that was the only sort of adjustable parameter, but that also we were dictated by some of the, some of the super cell calculations. So here the coherent and the incoherent, uh, the incoherent peaks are in the order of U separated as it should be. 
it's never 